Hey everybody, yeah, welcome to a Monday, late Monday evening edition of uh, Key Spear Reviews. Um, Thursday being, uh, being the holiday with the family, I had to work last night. Uh, I haven't done a, done a review in a couple, couple days, I had to work last night till 10.30. Had to work this morning till 4 o'clock this afternoon, so had a lot of running to do, so... It's sort of late in the evening, but I'm going to do a beer. It just appeared on our shelves yesterday. Um, fortunately, in our state, we finally started getting stone beers. And uh, I'm going to do one that showed up in our store yesterday. I'm going to do the Stone Enjoy by 1221 12 IPA. It's a double IPA. It comes in at 9.4% uh, ABV. A little bit from the website, it says you have in your hands a de devastatingly fresh double IPA. While freshness is a key, key component of many many beers, especially big citrusy floral IPAs, we've taken it a bit a lot further in this IPA. You see, we specifically brewed it not to last. We've not only gone to extensive. Uh, Lengths to ensure that you're getting this beer in your hands with an, an extraordinarily short window. We made sure that the enjoy by date isn't randomly etched in tiny text somewhere on the label to be overlooked by all but the most attentive of retailers and consumers. Instead, we sent a clear message with the name of the beer itself that there is no better time than right now to enjoy this IPA. So, let me do it. I got a stone cat. Uh, Cap got the gargoyle on it holding a beer. I'm not sure I have this one yet, but if I do, it'll go in my collection. So let's get this in the get this in the glass and see what we have. Not a ton of smoke there. We're really looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to trying stone beers. I've reviewed some before that I found in Illinois. And I wasn't sure about the age on, so I may do some re-reviews on some of those. Uh, Arrogant Bastard and the Oaked Arrogant Bastard in particular. But we've got a very clear dark yellow, not not orange, just very dark yellow beer. Uh, seems to be a moderate amount of carbonation streaming up. Got a finger of a really, really uh, frothy white head. A lot of fine bubbles. Really a lot of fine bubbles. But that's a good looking, good looking IPA. So let me get a nose on this. Oh yeah, this may be that that elusive uh, West Coast uh, hot bomb that I've been searching for for the smell of this. Um, got some resin, some of that pine resin right up front. Um, there's tons of uh, tropical fruits, almost a bit of a. And I might not have recognized it if I hadn't done that that hemp hemp hop rye the other day, but there's almost a hemp smell in this, but. My goodness, there's, there's, I mean, this is seriously some fresh hops. This was, he said this was bottled on 11-16, so today is what the, it's less than two weeks old, so pretty fresh for Iowa from the West Coast, that's for sure. And, of course, enjoy by 1221. Got lots of, uh, lots of uh, those citrus flavors. There's pineapple. Grapefruit, just a bit of gas, grassiness, um, lemon, yeah, lemon rind anyway, just a hint of a crackery malt, there's some, uh, some of those tropical fruits, or, oh, passion fruit, there's grapefruit in there too, oh, just, oh, ton of, ton of, there's a lot going on in this beer, so. I'm looking forward to this. So let me get a taste on this. Wow. Yeah, you get that citrus right in the front. I mean, wow, that just that just hammers your tongue. There's some floral hops in there just right behind it. Um, tropical fruits. Um, maybe just a, almost a little, little garlicky twang right there in the middle. Slightly tart and acidic on, on the back end, and that's where your big, the big pine notes come in, big piney hop finish. It lingers too, it's not a real clean finish. Um, 
And we got mango, peach, grapefruit. Papaya, orange. Plus those floral and grassy notes. Man, there's a lot going on here. I can get, get just a hint of that slight mold backbone, but there's not much there. You can't even, you can't really taste or uh, smell the alcohol either at 9.4%. So, it's fairly bitter all, all the way throughout. It's not a super bitter bomb, at least for me, but uh, seems to be a medium bodied, uh, medium carbonation. That's a decent carbonation for the style, sure, for sure. But it's got a nice, dry, bitter aftertaste that, um, and this really, really, I mean, this really co coats your mouth in the hop resin. There's a, a lot of hops in this, so let me sit, sip on this a while, enjoy it, and I'll come back after a while. I'm not going to let it warm up too much. I know this is one you don't want to let it warm up too much, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Wow. Okay, I'm back. It's only been 10 minutes or so. Uh, I gotta say, this is a damn good, damn good double IPA. Uh, it hasn't warmed up a ton, but all those notes are still there. I mean, there is a ton of stuff going on in this. Um, still not getting any alcohol or anything. Um, I am getting, what little bit is warmed up, I am getting a slight bit more of the maltiness in it, but it's still a definitely... Super, super hop forward beer. Um, I don't know what hops they used. I don't know what malts they used, but I think they must have used some of those um, uh, Southern Hemisphere hops too, with all the 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 fruitiness that, that goes on in this. I'm not. I am not sure, but. I mean, there's every, you know, citrus, every citrus is in there, your lemon, your orange, well, maybe no lime, but I, I haven't really got any lime, but, um, and got those, um, those sweet fruits, the, the oranges, or the peaches, the, my, almost my, and tropical fruits too, the papaya, the mango, there, everything is there, and, and that, that hop, hop bitterness that just sort of overrides everything else. Not in a bad way. I mean, it's not overwhelming. It's just, the, you feel the presence throughout that, that piney, piney hop resonance all, all, resonance all the way through it. And definitely on the finish. Um, the floral hops are in the background, but there too. So they must have used a buttload of hops in this of all kinds but this is a damn good beer now I'm gonna sit and enjoy this and I'll start editing the video and get back to the uh, Notre Dame uh, USC game looks like it's a good one and uh, wow damn good beer I'm gonna give the stone enjoy by and I and I do I have to say I know this was this is like the third bottling. There was one that was the best buy, I think, in September, and then another one in November, and so this one's December. I don't think the 12, 21, 12, other than supposed to, supposed to, that's supposed to be the day of the end of the world. They better keep making this when the world doesn't end and have different, uh, different best buy dates, but I'm going to give this a good solid uh, 9.5 out of 10. Probably... If I did quarters, it'd probably be 9.75, but I don't, so, um, knowing that it's a very, very, very strong 9.5 out of 10 for the stone. Enjoy by 12, 21, 12. If you enjoy hoppy beers and you can get this one, pick it up. I think you'll like it. Till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beer.